Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here. Today you're going to be comparing large numbers using the greater than, less than, and equal to symbol. Now throughout this week, you've been looking at numbers that were written in numeric form, word form, and expanded form. So now you should be pretty comfortable with being able to read and write these numbers, and you should really be focusing on each number's value within a number based on its location in the number. So today you're gonna to be comparing those large numbers using these symbols. Good luck. So our guiding question for today is how do you decide which number is larger? For example, if we have the number 762,200 and the number 759,999, we want to be able to compare them to say which number is larger. In this lesson, you will learn how to compare numbers by using the symbols less than, greater than, and equal to. Let's review our symbols. That is the less than symbol. And we know because when we use it here in this number sentence, 56 is less than 98. I always try and think of these different symbols as an alligator. And I know it sounds pretty basic, but it always helps me remember which symbol is which. So when I look at these types of symbols, and even the greater than symbol, I think of this as an alligator mouth. And I always think that the alligator wants to chomp the bigger meal, or in this case, the bigger number. So my alligator's mouth is going to be pointing toward the larger number. So it will be pointing away from the smaller number, or the number that is less. So this is the less than symbol, and so this is the greater than symbol. See, look, my alligator mouth is pointing towards my larger number, which is 98, so I know that 98 is greater than 56. This is my equal to sign, and so we would read this number sentence as 56 is equal to 56. Let's also remember how we decipher whether, let's also review the importance of understanding a digit's value based on where it is in a number. So in the number 4,532, I know that my four is in the thousands place, the five is in the hundreds place, the three is in the tens place, and the two is in the ones place. That four in the thousands place has a value of 4,000. The five in the hundreds place has a value of 500. The three in the tens place has a value of 30, and the two in the ones place has a value of two. A common mistake that many students make is thinking that 69 is greater than 102 because the digits six and nine are bigger than one and two. Let's take a look at the numbers 405,672 compared to 405,572. I'm going to look at these numbers on a place value chart to make it easier on myself. So I'm going to write those numbers into the place value chart and then I'm going to compare them and start with the largest number with the largest value first. So I know these numbers are large, but I'm going to start over here with the number with the largest value. So if I take a look at my two numbers, I notice that each has a four in the hundred thousands place. So, so far, these numbers are equal. Then I'm going to jump to the ten thousands place. Both of these numbers are the same as well. There are zero ten thousands in each of these numbers. So, so far, they're still equal. I'm going to then jump to the number in the thousands place. And again, I notice that each of these numbers has a five in the thousands place. So, my next jump is to the hundreds place. And here, I'm noticing my first difference. I notice that my first number, 405,672, has a six in the hundreds place. Whereas this number, 405,572, has a five in the hundreds place. I know that six is a larger number than five. So the number up top is going to be larger or greater than the number on the bottom. So in my little circle here, the place that I'm going to compare these two numbers, I can see that my six is larger or greater than my five. My six is in the hundreds place, my five is in the hundreds place, and I know that 600 is greater than 500. So, I would put in my greater than sign. And remember, if it helps you to think of it as an alligator, my alligator is chomping the larger number, which is this number here. 
So I would read this, 405,672 is greater than 405,572. Let's take a look at another couple of numbers. I have the number 7,809,005 and the number 7,880,003. I'm again going to make it easy on myself and write these numbers on my place value chart. So there's my first number and there's my second number and I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did last time. These are just bigger numbers. So I'm going to start with the numbers that have the greatest value in my two numbers. So the seven has the greatest value in each of these numbers because it's in the millions place. So I'm noticing these sevens are um, the same. So, so far, these, no these numbers are equal. I'm gonna go to my hundred thousands place. These two eights, they're the same. So, so far, so good. They are still equal. Now, I'm going to look at the ten thousands place. And I notice that I have my first difference. And I know they're different down here, but I'm staying with the numbers that have the largest value. So I see here that this number up top, 7,809,005, has a value of zero in the 10,000s place. Whereas in this number, 7,880,003, I have an eight in the 10,000s place. So this number down here on the bottom is going to be greater than this number here on the top. But that number is first in my place value number sentence. So I'm going to read the, the number sentence this way. 7,809,005 is less than 7,880,003. So I would put in the less than sign because this number is less than this number and it's all because of that digit in the ten thousands place. Let's take a look at ordering numbers from least to greatest. I have these three numbers 39,402, 39,410, and 39,399. First, I'm going to line these numbers up by their place value. So see how all of my ones are lined up? All of my tens are lined up, my hundreds, my thousands, and my ten thousands. It's gonna make it a lot easier on me as a mathematician to put these numbers into order from least to greatest if I can see all of the numbers in the place value lined up. So, I notice already that all of them have 39 in this place. So, I'm gonna take a look at the hundreds place and up I see a three in the hundreds place. That must mean that this number, 39,399, is the least. Then I have these two numbers to worry about. I notice that each of them have a four in the hundreds place, but when I go to the tens place, I notice that this number has a zero in the tens place. So that number would be the second least. And then I'm left with this number. So 39,410 is the greatest number. I could write this in a number sentence this way using my less than symbol. 39,399 is less than 39,402 is less than 39,410. In this lesson, you have learned to compare numbers by using the symbols less than, greater than, and equal to.